Hey Mike, thanks for spending the day with me at the hospital. Your OCT experience is exactly what the doctors needed. Oh, uh, no, no problem, bud. You know I'm always willing to help. Hey, so I noticed you had a conversation today with Dr. Smith uh, before you guys scrubbed into the cath. What was all that about? Yeah, you know, he was just asking what my opinion of uh, the Zion's floral polymer was. Oh yeah? And then how'd that go? Well, it went really well. I told him how uh, Zion's is very low thrombal resistance um, and our floral polymer doesn't allow cells to stick. Um, and because of this, science has a very fast endothelialization. So, did, did you think he got the gist of what you guys were what you were talking about? Well, he sure asked how. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I explained that floral polymer induces um, the attention of albumin, and tightly bonded albumin minimizes platelet adhesion and um, thrombus. I thought you told me the, uh, this morning, Doctor Smith usually uses the Synergy stent as his uh, stent of choice, but. During the, his heart cath this morning, he used two Zions. Like, what were those? Like sympathy stents or something? Oh no! During our conversation, I compared Zions to other non-fluorinated bare metal and biodegradable polymers such as Synergy, uh, and you know, like the Bangalore and Palmarini studies, um, and how these polymers allow thrombotic proteins such as fibrinogen to adhere to them, causing a higher thrombus and inflammatory response. Oh wow, nice. Yeah. Um, what do you, what do you say? How do you respond to that? Well, he sure looked interested. So I told him, don't take my word for it. Start placing Zions in your next, you know, group of patients and follow their response. Uh, I think you'll be impressed. Wow. And then how did he respond to that? Well, he used two stents, didn't he? Oh, Bill, look out! Oh! What, what, what was that? Dude, I think you just hit somebody. And I, I, if I'm not mistaken, man, they were wearing a Boston Scientific jacket. Oh, my God, what do I do? I feel bad. Do I, I mean, we're in traffic. What do I do? Oh, man, I'm not sure, dude. Well, oh, oh my god, uh, this is not good. Oh my god, this is not good. Oh my god, it says Jim Mayberry. Oh my god, oh my god, what do I do? Uh, uh hello? Hi, this is Jim Mayberry. Is this Bill Peach? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is Bill, 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 Bill Peach. Hey, Bill, how's your day going? It's, it's going good, actually. Uh, it's going real, real good. Great. Did I catch you at a bad time? You're not driving or anything, are you? Oh, no, 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 no. I never talk on the phone and drive. I'm just having a cup of coffee trying to calm my nerves. Okay, great. Well, Bill, the reason for the call is because I understand you're one of our best clinical reps in the field, and I heard you give one hell of a proven to protect story. Uh, thanks, Jim. And I'm hoping I can fly out and spend the day in the field with you to watch you put the herd on our competition. Uh, I, I think that'd be great to have you out, Jim, but honestly, I, I actually think I might be killing the competition. Great, Bill. Keep up the good work. See you soon. Thanks, Jim. Bye. Mike, what do you think? Should we stop and see if that guy's okay? <laughs> no, nah, you're killing him, dude. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Damn.